I'm asking all Manitobans for at least the month of November to consider dropping and acting on this advice of Dr. Tam, Dr. Rusin, dropping their personal contact numbers because that will assist us in reducing the power of COVID and increasing our own personal power. Group sizes beyond five are now totally unacceptable because they lead to community transmission of the virus. And unfortunately, we have an increasing number of reports of not only people having group gatherings, but also promoting them to others. This is totally unacceptable. For example, uh, on the uh, internet, there were advertisements for party organizers uh, late last week into the weekend. There was uh, one huge Halloween house party being promoted on social media on the weekend, multiple DJs in attendance in the south end of the city. Now that is totally unacceptable. And I have to say, hockey, basketball, I'm a fan, a former player, they're great sports, but they wouldn't be any good if there were just rules and nobody was enforcing them. We have stepped up enforcement, but not enough, clearly not enough. And so we're in a situation where enforcement is not keeping up to the need for enforcement. Let's be blunt about it. Uh, we had several hundred calls from great Manitobans alerting us to situations, principally group gatherings. Uh, last week, we had three tickets given out. That's not acceptable. That's not an adequate deterrent for the things that, uh, like this event I just told you about, that are a real danger to people. So, later this week, I'll be announcing stepped-up enforcement details where we are going to be targeting events such as the one I just described and others because we need to do more. Stepping up our efforts to make sure that we enforce these rules is important. Fine to have rules, important to have enforcement as well. My mom was a pretty smart, self-made feminist who rose over a lot of challenges in her life, and she had a lot of common sense. And one of the things that our family always remembered about her was her big emphasis on preventing problems before they occurred. She, she used to you know, emphasize this to her children, but she emphasized it to the children she taught, too, for over 40 years. And she used to say, it's better to put up a fence around the top of a hill than an ambulance at the bottom. Preventative measures are what can work to assist us, preventing the actions of those who would put us all in danger is important with proper deterrence. Us taking actions to reduce our contacts is preventative action that we can take as well. Yes, we're stepping up enforcement. Yes, we need to be proactive. Yes, we need to be preventative in our decision making. And so I also want Manitobans perspectives on another initiative that's been taken in other jurisdictions around the world. It's been taken actually in Manitoba as well. And we are giving serious consideration to it. And as with all of our plans, we make them available to Manitobans for feedback before they're implemented. I wanna do the same with this one. We're giving serious consideration to implementing a curfew, a curfew that would be designed to restrict travel between key hours when gathering sizes tend to be dangerously in excess of the rules late night hours, obviously. These late night situations in Winnipeg have expanded our number of COVID cases very significantly. According to Dr. Rusin, this is an action that we should seriously consider and I am seriously considering it now. I want Manitobans to tell us what they think of the idea of a limited period curfew. We hope very short time period is involved here, but this potential measure will need to be acted upon. If Manitobans can support it and encourage it, good. If they disagree with it, I want to hear from you too. So go to Engage MB. Uh, tell us what you think about this potential measure. Um, and uh, then we'll get back to you with our decision in respect of this. I want to emphasize that we all need to work on being part of Team Manitoba, frankly. We all need to step up and do our part. When we were abiding by the fundamentals, uh, we were beating COVID. Now, some of us have forgotten about the fundamentals and COVID's beating us. We need to get back to the fundamentals. And if we do that, and I think we can, then we can flatten our COVID curve now.